This short video is just to explain the concept of hoisting in JavaScript. So I've got a very basic JavaScript file here with a few variables, a couple of functions. Uh, hoisting is the process by which JavaScript understands what your file is trying to do. So I have a few variable declarations here, lines 5 and 6. Uh, this first one I'm just declaring. This second line I'm declaring the variable b as a global variable. And then what I'm doing is I'm assigning the value 4 to that variable. That's actually two different processes, two different things that are happening. When the file is first read by JavaScript, it will find all of the variables and all of the functions and hoists them all to the very top of the page. And it does this so it can understand what are the variables and what are the functions that are going to be used at some point in the page. But when they get hoisted to the top, they're all given the value of undefined. So this variable a is hoisted to the top of the page, but it's storing a variable, uh, a value of undefined. Same thing with this b. It's hoisted to the top of the page as a global variable, but it's storing the value undefined. It's not till we actually get back down to this line of the code the second time that it will have the value of 4 stored inside of it. This variable d, same thing. It'll be hoisted to the top of the page, but it'll be holding the value of undefined. So if I were to try up here, and I was to console log the variable d, this would actually give me undefined because it knows the variable exists. It hoisted it to the top, but it ha hasn't assigned the value of 5 to that variable yet. Now, functions, there's two different ways we can create them. There's function declarations and function expressions. If we are to do a function declaration, this will get hoisted to the top of the page. This whole thing actually gets hoisted to the top of the page. So it's sitting up at the top as an object that the browser knows that it exists. So we can call on it. But just because it was a function declaration there, it meant that all of the stuff inside here was brought along. So we can call it at any point in our page. Even if I was to call on the function here, this would work because it's calling on the function, telling it to run. And it has been hoisted to the top of the page. Function expressions, because they're viewed as variables, the variable gets hoisted to the top. If I were to, right here, try and run the function e, this would fail. e would be viewed as being undefined. We have not put this function inside that variable yet. And that's hoisting. It's just a matter of pulling everything to the top of the page and understanding that you may be able to refer to a global variable, but you don't have the value in it until you get to this point in the page. With functions, if you write them as declarations, you can use them anywhere, above or below. If you're writing function expressions, you can only use it after you've actually assigned. So this last one would work. And that's it.